Are you ready to dive into the world of caffeine? In this video, we're going to explore the fascinating effects of this ubiquitous stimulant on our bodies and minds. From that morning cup of coffee to the midday energy boost from tea or soda, caffeine is a part of daily life for many of us. But what exactly is caffeine, and how does it work its magic? Join us as we unravel the science behind caffeine, from its impact on our alertness and focus to its potential health benefits and drawbacks. Whether you're a coffee connoisseur or just curious about the effects of your favorite pick-me-up, this video will provide you with all the answers you need. Stay tuned to uncover the secrets of caffeine and discover how this little molecule packs a powerful punch. Don't miss out, hit that subscribe button and let's embark on this caffeine-fueled journey together. What is caffeine? Caffeine is a bitter substance that occurs naturally in more than 60 plants including coffee beans, tea leaves, cola nuts, which are used to flavor soft drink colas, cacao pods, which are used to make chocolate products. There is also synthetic, man-made, caffeine, which is added to some medicines, foods, and drinks. For example, some pain relievers, cold medicines, and over-the-counter medicines for alertness contain synthetic caffeine. So do energy drinks and energy-boosting gums and snacks? Most people consume caffeine from drinks. The amount of caffeine in different drinks can vary a lot, but it is generally an 8-ounce cup of coffee, 95 to 200 milligrams. A 12-ounce can of cola, 35 to 45 milligrams. An 8-ounce energy drink, 70 to 100 milligrams. An 8-ounce cup of tea, 14 to 60 milligrams. What are caffeine's effects on the body? Caffeine has many effects on your body's metabolism. It stimulates your central nervous system, which can make you feel more awake and give you a boost of energy. Is a diuretic, meaning that it helps your body get rid of extra salt and water by urinating more. Increases the release of acid in your stomach, sometimes leading to an upset stomach or heartburn. May interfere with the absorption of calcium in the body. Increases your blood pressure. Within one hour of eating or drinking caffeine, it reaches its peak level in your blood. You may continue to feel the effects of caffeine for four to six hours. What are the side effects from too much caffeine? For most people, it is not harmful to consume up to 400 milligrams of caffeine a day. If you do eat or drink too much caffeine, it can cause health problems, such as restlessness and shakiness, insomnia, headaches, dizziness, fast heart rate, dehydration, anxiety, Dependency, so you need to take more of it to get the same results. Some people are more sensitive to the effects of caffeine than others. What are energy drinks, and why can they be a problem? Energy drinks are beverages that have added caffeine. The amount of caffeine in energy drinks can vary widely, and sometimes the labels on the drinks do not give you the actual amount of caffeine in them. Energy drinks may also contain sugars, vitamins, curbs, and supplements. Companies that make energy drinks claim that the drinks can increase alertness and improve physical and mental performance. This has helped make the drinks popular with American teens and young adults. There's limited data showing that energy drinks might temporarily improve alertness and physical endurance. There is not enough evidence to show that they enhance strength or power. But what we do know is that energy drinks can be dangerous because they have large amounts of caffeine. And since they have lots of sugar, they can contribute to weight gain and worsen diabetes. Sometimes young people mix their energy drinks with alcohol. It is dangerous to combine alcohol and caffeine. Caffeine can interfere with your ability to recognize how drunk you are, which can lead you to drink more. This also makes you more likely to make bad decisions. Who should avoid or limit caffeine? You should check with your healthcare provider about whether you should limit or avoid caffeine if you 
are pregnant since caffeine passes through the placenta to your baby. Are breastfeeding since a small amount of caffeine that you consume is passed along to your baby. Have sleep disorders, including insomnia. Have migraines or other chronic headaches. Have anxiety. Have GERD or ulcers. Have arrhythmia, a problem with the rate or rhythm of your heartbeat. Have high blood pressure. Take certain medicines or supplements, including stimulants, certain antibiotics, asthma medicines, and heart medicines. Check with your healthcare provider about whether there might be interactions between caffeine and any medicines and supplements that you take. Are a child or teen. Neither should have as much caffeine as adults. Children can be especially sensitive to the effects of caffeine. What is caffeine withdrawal? If you have been consuming caffeine on a regular basis and then suddenly stop, you may have caffeine withdrawal. Symptoms can include Headaches Drowsiness Irritability Nausea Trouble concentrating These symptoms usually go away after a couple of days. Thank you so much for joining me on this caffeine fuel journey today. I hope you found this video informative and engaging. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more like it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. And remember, sharing is caring. If you found value in this video, consider sharing it with your friends and family to spread the knowledge and support our community. Disclaimer, the information provided in this video is for general informational purposes only. It is not intended as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay seeking it because of information provided here. Thank you for joining us on this journey of health and wellness discovery. We hope you found this video insightful and empowering. To continue learning and growing together, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content.